my channel and welcome to my very last school supplies haul video for you guys. It kind of sounds weird saying my very last because I think I only filmed one other one like for year 11 last year. Um, but it is my last one because I'm going to year 12 which is senior year in Queensland and Australia. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what stationery I bought for my last year of school. So for school supply shopping, I love, love, love Kmart and Officeworks. They always have pretty much everything, well actually they definitely have everything you could ever need, especially Officeworks because that's literally what the entire store is for pretty much. But Kmart is really good for really cheap, really cute stuff, so I kind of prefer Kmart and then Officeworks. I went to with my mum because my sister really needed to get like different folders and books and things whereas I hardly need anything because usually I type most of my important assignments and everything and just because I hate my handwriting so much but so it's only a short um hopefully it's only a short video anyway because I only have a few things to show you but let's get started so I've got my cute little office books bag here it's not that little it's actually kind of massive but that's because it has to fit like the A4 books in it and everything but I thought I'd first off show you something that isn't in the bag which is from Kmart um this is it's called a gold wire gold wire file rack and this, I actually bought it, I think it was like seven or eight dollars, seven or eight dollars, I can't quite remember. But um, it's a file rack, obviously, and I'm hoping it'll fit in really nicely in my locker. So if I just like slide in the middle like that, then I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five different sections, which is actually perfect because I do six subjects, and I'm sure there's one that I probably won't need one for. Um, what was I saying? There's five different sections in it. So I could put like my textbook and my writing book or like my textbook and my folder or whatever for each subject and I have them standing up, which I thought would be really good because all the past years I've had, well they give us different lockers pretty much every year, so some lockers are a bit different around the school, but most of the time when you stack all your books up, like standing up ways and like lean them against the side, and then you pull one out and then they all like slide down and it's hard to get one out, especially if you have a low locker and you can't quite see in. So I thought this would be really good to have them all standing up by themselves so it's easier to pull out and not everything like falls over. I don't know, I'm just a bit of a neat freak like that so hopefully that works out how I planned. The next main thing that I got are two writing books, obviously. They are the 120 page A4 spiral notebook from Study Mate. I really like the brand Study Mate because their whole like branding is just plain black and white which is definitely my aesthetic because I just like plain black and white or grey or whatever plain stuff that goes with like all my cute like baby pink and everything like that so I really like their books because they're literally just plain covers and you can actually rip that front page out and just have that like showing through the clear showing through this clear plastic at the front or you can put whatever on the front really but I just leave it like this I bought two because I only have two subjects that I actually write stuff down in one for maths and one for biology Next, staying with the aesthetic, plain, black and white, clear theme, I got these two different folders. The first one, um, I forgot to show you where they're from. Those books were from Officeworks. This folder is from, um, I was about to say IKEA, you can't get them from IKEA. This folder is from Kmart, and it was $1.50, super cheap, and it's just a clear display folder with like 20 plastic pockets in it, and it also actually has a clear pocket attached to the front plastic bit, so you can slide in. They've got this piece of paper in it, but you could slide in like a cover page or something or just write what subject it is. But I only got one of these. I'm trying to get that cover thing back in. Anyway, I only got one of these because I'm just going to put all of my assessment in the one folder because I really... The only handouts that you get really are the actual like task sheet and criteria sheet for your assignments and like exam work and stuff like that, I guess, but just assignments basically. And I thought, yeah, so display folder for assignments, task sheets, criteria sheets, and then I just got a pocket, a, what's it called? A document wallet from Officeworks, I'm pretty sure this one was. A clear one of those, and this is just for any extra handouts that I get for all different subjects, because we really don't get that many, as I already said. Mainly we get them in like biology, I guess, we get like worksheets and stuff sometimes, but yeah, this is really just to have like literally any loose paper that I get to put in there, because I don't get that much. Next thing is my actual best friend when I'm studying. These are, which way the front? These are index cards and I got a 300 pack, which hopefully will be plenty for the whole year, depending on how good I am at studying. But I use these, as most people do, just to study at the end of each term or before an exam or whatever. And they're especially helpful for biology. I literally write a card for every single fact, every single, like, section, every single topic, that's the word, topic, that we do, and I write 
them all on these all different like color coded I highlight them and everything and they're also really good for maths rules and things like that and what else oh use them for like English speeches like you just print out your speech and like stick it on these so it looks a bit better when you're holding your index cards and you're doing your speech and yeah just very very good to have especially in year 12 and my last things is just a handful of little stationary bits and pieces so first I got some pens Sorry everyone, the memory card just filled up, which is so annoying. But as I was saying, I got a full pack of pens, which are the Papermate, Papermate ballpoint pens. I don't know, they don't really have a name. Oh, profile pens, I think they're called. Full pack of those because I really like having good quality pens because I hate when pens do that thing where they like don't fill in the whole letter like you write and there's like gaps in it. I don't know if anyone understands what I'm talking about, but I need some good pens. Also got a four pack of Sharpies because you literally can never not have enough Sharpies. Does that have, never not have enough Sharpies? That is right. And I got a four pack of these. I'm not going to use all four. Mum said she'd have one and Amy will have one, whatever. But four pack of Sharpies. Some white out because I make mistakes all the time. And this is just a cheapie from Officeworks. I think it was only like a dollar or a dollar fifty for a two pack. And white out is very important, especially in year 12. A stapler, a really, really tiny, cute little pink one. It fit in my pencil case because no one ever has a stapler. You know on the day when you're all handing in assignments and you need to, like, staple the assignment to your, like, Tashi or Crouchy sheet, whatever, staple everything together? No one ever has a stapler, so got one of those. Last thing is a sharpener because I, for some reason, like, don't own a sharpener. I can never find any sharpeners. So I just, like, keep using new pencils instead of sharpening the old ones, which makes no sense, but... Got a little sharpener, it's a cute little green colour. Okay, so that's everything I bought finished off, but I thought I'd show you my pencil case that I'm using because obviously I didn't buy all the stationery that I need because I have plenty of stuff left over from last year that I didn't need to repurchase. And it is in this pencil case that I'm also using from last year. It's actually a makeup bag from Mecha Maxima. As you can see, it's got their little Mecha Max branding there. Super cute, got baby pink on it, which is my favourite colour. And it's still pretty full, it's got all my bits and pieces, it's got my calculator, which obviously you always need in maths, a glue stick, some pencils from last year, scissors that you still need, a ruler, oh and then I'll grab out all my favourite highlighters. Okay, these are my all time favourite highlighters, they are the Stabilo Swinkle highlighters and I got the 8 pack at the start of last year, or maybe midway through last year, I can't remember. But I didn't need to repurchase them because none of them have run out yet and I highlight so much so that says that they're good highlighters and I really like the 8 pack because on my timetable I like to colour code everything and also like in my books when I'm actually writing everything. And I think I have about 8 or 9 different things on my timetable, like I do 6 subjects and then we've got homeroom and assembly and other things that I like to colour in all different colours so I know what I'm doing. And this 8 pack is perfect for that end, I dropped one. They come in really, really pretty colours, so they are the best highlighters, I highly recommend. So that is all, that's in my pencil case from last year, there's just a few more pens and pencils that I've left in there. But I will definitely clean that out, ready for the new year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a pretty quick one, I like to try and get a few quick ones in there, because most of my videos are usually so, so long for all my, from all my babbling and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll definitely keep you up to keep you up to date with how year 12 goes for me. I start in a couple of days actually by the time I get this up for you guys and obviously I'm vlogging everything. I'm sure if you're subscribed to my channel you would have already seen my first couple of weekly vlogs so I'll be continuing vlogging all throughout the year and I'll keep you up to date with my year 12 experience. So thanks for watching as always. Subscribe if you haven't, like and leave a comment down below and I'll see you very soon in my next video.